Hi guys, just going to do a little tear down. Got three electric clock mechanisms here, all battery operated, all taken from clocks that have died. I uh, just thought I'd take them apart and have a look inside. Now, I've just been testing them again, and one of them does actually work which surprised me. Uh, nope. So it must be that one. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Oh. Hands are a bit loose on it. Yeah. That one still works. So we'll put that one over there. The other two don't. I think they just clip together. Yeah. There's one of those U-shaped bits of plastic with a little clip underneath it. This is one that I glued into something at some time for some project or other. That's what all that foamy stuff is around the edges. So, what have we got? We've got some nice little gears that might be useful for something. Uh, that's the adjuster gear teeth on the inside there, where would that line up with? Uh, that would line up, oh, we can use that pointer, with that gear there for adjusting the hands. Right, well, if we pop that off and undo that, it looks like, yeah, that all comes out. Okay, so looking at this side, we've got this gear with a shaft on it. That's the outside one, which must be the hour hand. That one must be the minute hand. And then in the center, there's a shaft in the middle, which would be the second hand. Well, that looks a bit corroded there. That might be all the problem is with this one. Oh, well, before... I was going to say before I finish taking it apart, but there's not much more to take apart. One more gear there, one gear there. Oh, and that, that was the second hand shaft that was up from the back of it, wasn't that? So that gear must have been on the back there somewhere. Something's got to line up with that bit. Let's see what we can do. That one definitely went there. And that one. Oh, that looks like that might have gone on there. Yeah. Okay. So that turns, that drives that one, that one, that gear there, looks like it drives that one. Oh, 
lighting's not very good again. I'm really having trouble with the lighting in here. There must be another gear on the bottom somewhere, surely. Well, that's interesting because that small gear aligns with that big gear, but underneath, what's going on down there? Another gear must have fallen off the back because that's got a drive. That gear there has got to be driving something else. sits on there. No, that one sits on there. That one sits on top of there. That one sits on there. Must be that way up. Yeah, that makes sense. That gear meshes with that gear, and then that gear there meshes with that one. So they're all right. That one must go that gently. I reckon that one goes on there. Yeah, that's it. So that one drives that one, that one drives that one. The small side of that one drives that one. That one comes, I'm trying to hold it all together. That one comes through there and drives that brass one there which is the second hand and there's a gear on there from that brass one that then drives that one and that one via that gear drives that one so second hand minute hand hour hand Do that again second hand minute hand, hour hand. Right, so we figured that out, let that all drop out. This looks to be the problem, corrosion on there. So if I can attach a battery to there and to there, it might still work. How does it work? Ah, right. Coil. Current goes through the coil in pulses. The coil's on this metal U-shaped piece. And when the current flows through it, that piece there has got a magnet in it which is driven round by the fluctuating magnetic field in this thing. And it turns just a tiny bit at a time. It doesn't spin round. It turns a bit at a time. If I put something metallic near there, can we pick it up? Right. That's got to have a magnet in it. Yeah. That is magnetic. So, as I say, can we get something on there? Oh, it does look quite corroded, doesn't it? That's all crystalline up there, too. 
I should think possibly some condensation got into it at some time or other. Right, so we need to get the battery on there. We need to work out which way round the battery was on there so that we don't put it in. Wrong way round. That's sat in there. Like that. battery plate was under there. That end is the positive, so this end is the positive. So that's positive and that's negative. Positive, negative. What can I attach to that? I know what I'll do. I'll see if I can actually solder some little bits of wire onto there. Then we can put it back together because the existing metal contact is going to do no good at all because there's nothing for it to make contact with just there. So I'll scrape the insulation off there, see if I can solder a wire on it. Right, it doesn't particularly like the way I've jammed those wires in there. You can hear it creaking a little bit. I can't quite get that clip to sit down shut which is not surprising because we've got a gap there but stick that back on there uh, get these the right way around the negative on there positive on there and we're working so yeah, it looks like that was probably some moisture or something had built up in the mechanism there and allowed the contacts to corrode. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. I didn't expect to get that working again. Yeah, well, there you go. That's all that was wrong with it was the um, contact, that one, or at least where that one made contact, had gone all green and uh, crystalline. I didn't actually finish sort of discussing what the different bits and pieces were, did I? So, uh, disconnect that again. I mean, there really isn't very much to look at in there. Because it's a black blob. And uh, I think it's a crystal, actually, to give the timing. So, oh, I've got to take that off again, haven't I? it all fall apart again. So yeah, there's very little to actually see. There's a black blob that's got some circuitry in it. And then I think that's a crystal to give the actual timing. I'm guessing. I'm not an expert, certainly not a clockmaker. But that would seem to be the logic everything buried in the black blob apart from that. Well, I suppose it could be a capacitor, but I think that's more likely to be a crystal. I wonder if it's got anything written on it anywhere. No is the answer, so there's nothing written on it. But I think that's the bit that does or gives you the timing signal. And that was the bit that was corroded and I've just soldered directly on there. So, 
the teardown of a battery operated clock mechanism. Job done. I've just cut some of the plastic out of the way so we can actually get those wires coming out of there. I've got it in mind to see whether that will actually run off a solar panel. Obviously it won't keep time, but when the sun comes out it will start ticking. So that's what we'll do. If we can get that back together now. It's a bit happier now, it can sit down properly. If it did run off a solar panel, then um, you could um, time how much sunlight you get, couldn't you? Just a thought. If you set it to zero before it started, or 12 o'clock, because well, you need all the hands. Uh, I don't know if I've got them all. I'll have a look. But that's what I'm thinking now, because I've got those external battery leads. I might try sticking it on a solar panel and just see if it runs when the sun shines. Well, there we are, it's running off a solar panel. Just pinched it off this little toy. So, uh, yeah, we could time how much sunlight we get. Obviously it's only going to work with a certain amount of sunlight. Yeah, oh well, there we go, another idea. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.